guys, welcome to today's video and we're going to look at the differences between Rotus power meters today starting with the in-power aluminium crank arm direct mount system on this power meter uh, you've got a uh, battery port on the dry side, it used to be on the non-dry side on the older versions and then you have your uh, pod on the end of the uh, right hand crank which is what your receiver is um, to your head unit or GPS unit but this is in road, mountain bike, all different formats and let's have a look through some of the major key points of this power meter. So we've got 300 hour battery life using a AA battery, direct mount spider which means you can run 1x, 2x, mountain bike ranks, everything. Uh, you've got single sided power, chainset itself comes in at 510 grams and has an accuracy on the power of plus or minus 2%. Next one we're going to look at is obviously the Inspider. So this is the in-between power meter. This actually does dual-sided, even though it's only on one side. It fits directly into the direct mount crank. And the great thing is it will fit onto any of their cranks. So Capac for mountain bike or Aldo for road. Um, you can put whatever chambers you want, on you want as long as they're four bolt, and it is magnetically recharged, and like it is in the two in power as well which is really, really cool to see. Um, anything to look at is what I found, maybe if you're running a mountain bike one, make sure you've got clearance to the frame because it actually does bulk out quite a bit on the back, which I didn't expect and didn't sort of um, account for when I put it on, but luckily it fit mine, no problems at all. So let's go through some of the specs of um, of this unit. So it's a 200 hour battery life, rechargeable by that um, which, uh, magnetic recharge point, as I've already said. It's using Rotor's 4 bolt system, so even though it's direct mount to the crank itself, you still need a 4 bolt rot um, rings, so it's either mountain bike 1 by 2 by It is dual sided, even though it's only on one side of the crank. It weighs only 149 grams, which means you can make some super light crank power meter options, which I did with the Capac Carbon. It came to like 500 and something grams all in, including power meter, which is crazy and its accuracy is between plus minus one percent which is unbelievable so that's that's the uh, in spider and last but not least here we have the 2m power so this is the dual full on dual sided most expensive crank they do it is again direct mount aluminium crank arms you can run two by one by mountain bike i've got the mountain bike axle on here with a one by system for the gravel bike it is rechargeable as well great thing I like with this one is it fits like a Shimano crank so you've got a retaining bolt then one pinch bolt to just tighten it down so there's no chance of it ever falling apart. Um, but let's show you how you do charge this up because it is just the same as the Inspider really but it's got a cover on it. So you remove the cover, you've got your magnetic section there, you've got your charger which is generic one end and USB the other so try not to lose the cable. Um, I'm not sure the costing of replacing it but I guarantee it's not cheap. Um, and then you pop it on there as it is magnetic if someone walks past and knocks it then I'm going to take your bike with it it just comes off like that so let's go over the specs of the 2 and power so starting at the top we have got 250 hour battery life which is rechargeable obviously direct mount spider it's dual sided power weighing at 596 grams and accuracy is plus or minus 2% so that's all the cranks in Rotor's range power meter wise at the moment. Hope you enjoyed the video, it's a little bit different to what I usually do and um, I'll hopefully see you again soon. Thanks for watching, goodbye.